everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new NASA study has found that tropical forests are removing a larger percentage of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere than previously thought. As you may remember from biology class in elementary school, during photosynthesis, plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, which works out pretty good for us, and other organisms which require oxygen to breathe, of which there are several. But it also works out for our climate, since plants retain the carbon from the CO2 they absorb, removing it from the atmosphere and helping to mitigate the greenhouse effect. The new study, published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, reconciles data collected from all around the world, taking into account the real-world effects of climate change and human activity, and finds that tropical forests absorb higher amounts of CO2 than northern boreal forests. In fact, tropical forests are responsible for 56% of all the carbon absorbed from the atmosphere. The study also indicates that tropical forests should continue to absorb carbon at their present rate for the foreseeable future, which, given how reluctant leading carbon polluters like the United States are to seriously address climate change, is good news for everybody. Up next, using your smartphone might be good exercise for not only your thumbs, but for your brain. A new study conducted by researchers at ETH Zurich and published in the journal Current Biology found that electrical activity in the brain increases when people use their fingers to operate the touch screens of their smartphones. The researchers also found that regular touch screen use increased sensitivity in the fingertips. This doesn't mean that smartphone use is all good. The researchers point out that there is evidence linking excessive smartphone use to motor dysfunctions. But at least now, when someone hassles you about being on your phone too much, you can protest, I'm just training my fingertips to be more sensitive. Finally, researchers in the U.S. and South Korea have developed a new type of artificial skin that could one day equip prosthetic limbs with a lifelike sense of touch. The synthetic skin is made of a stretchable polymer, which is embedded with thin gold and silicon sensors. It's also designed to warm itself to the same temperature as human skin. This so-called smart skin is actually too sensitive for current artificial interfaces with the human brain, but its creators are hopeful that that will be changing very soon. You might remember last year when I told you about a Cleveland man who tested an artificial hand that allowed him to experience simple sensations and enabled him to judge whether he was holding a hard or soft object and adjust his grip accordingly. The developers of smart skin hope to build on that breakthrough. There is a gap between what their smart skin can do and what brain-computer interfaces can currently handle, but that gap is rapidly shrinking. The paper on smart skin is published in the journal Nature Communications. NASA finds that tropical forests do most of the work in scrubbing carbon from the atmosphere. A new study suggests that using your smartphone could make you more sensitive in a way, and researchers develop a kind of artificial skin that could someday provide amputees with a truly lifelike sense of touch. That's the good news. Is that all?